In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up the QuickTime Player video. Let's do this. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehoz.com, where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials and all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this is helpful to you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up the QuickTime Player video. This is going to be a very short video, but this is something that drove me around the twist. I use a Mac these days and I don't really use QuickTime Player. It's not one of my favorite tools, but sometimes I need to use it and I can't ever find the controls for the video speed. So, of course, I looked online and there is plenty of information. There are blogs and questions and answers, but they all show a different method and none of them work for me. So I got to the bottom of it and I thought I'd do a quick video because you may just be having this same problem. So let me show you exactly how to do this. OK, so here we are and on my screen you can see the QuickTime player and there is already a video loaded. It's one of my own videos and unfortunately you have to look at me on the video there too. <laughs> And if I hover my cursor over the screen, you can see the rewind button, the fast forward button and the play button. Now, all you do here is you press down the alt key on your keyboard and then you tap the fast forward key. If you want to speed up the video or you hold down the alt key and you press the rewind button if you want to slow down the video speed. So what I'm going to do here is I want to speed up the video and for that, I'm going to hold down the old key, as I said, and then I'm going to tap the fast forward key once. OK, so let me lower the volume. You can see that this has speeded the video and now says 1.1. If I hold down the old key again and I press that two more times. In fact, let's do that two more times. And there it is, 1.5. Now, the one thing I will say about this is that when you play videos, on a faster speed using QuickTime Player, the sound quality degrades significantly. It's pretty bad, but sometimes you have to use QuickTime Player for whatever reason. And now at least you know how to control the video speed using this player. OK, so that was a short video, but as I say, it took some digging to get to the bottom of this. So hopefully you never have to deal with this issue again. And while you're here, remember to subscribe to the channel and that way you stay in the loop with all these tips and tricks. And in the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.